Hello, fellow quarantined voice actor friends. Woo, how are you doing? We are quarantined. Kind of like a lot of us are every day anyway, right? Uh, hi, my name is Kara Edwards. I am a voice actor. Uh, I have been working as a voice actor for over 20 years and 14 of those years I've been working in my home studio. Um, this is not a video about how to be a voice actor because there's plenty of those out there. This is not a video about how to create your own home studio because again, there are so many great videos out there that I didn't want to add to the clutter. What this is, is a video from my voice actor friends who have been working as voice actors but are suddenly at home for the very first time. They are setting up their home studios and they're trying to figure it all out because probably right about now, most of you guys have noticed that Working from home is a whole different animal than going into the studios and going to your agency's offices. So all I wanted to do is just share with you guys a few of the tips and tricks that I have picked up along the way. Number one, you may have noticed that a lot of your friends are going out and buying super, super fancy studio equipment. Whisper Rooms, Apollo Twins, Neumann TLM 103s. Uh, this does not mean that that is what you need to do. I think it was Anna Vicino um, who first told me you don't want to go full-time as a voice actor until you're making more money as a voice actor than you do in your regular day job. Kind of the same situation now. Uh, don't go out and buy all the fancy, fancy gear unless you know you're going to be making enough money to at the very least break even on all of that gear. We're not going to be quarantined forever. Probably for a little while but not forever. So don't go dropping $10,000 if you don't think you're gonna be able to recoup it in your house. That said, I realize I'm sitting here in my fancy, fancy studio <laughs> that I actually built over the course of 14 years. Um, I've added gear, I've changed things. This is my first studio that I actually built from the ground up. I converted a garage into an independent building that could house the studio, house my whisper room, um, and all of those things. So the next question, Kara, what equipment are you using? Uh, I have a whisper room, I have a TLM 103, I have an Apollo Twin that goes into Pro Tools. However, my recommendation for you, if you are building your very first home studio, invest in moving blankets. What, moving blankets, but I'm not going anywhere? Yes, invest in moving blankets. They are probably one of the best sound dampeners out there. One of the best studios that I ever recorded in was a temporary studio that I set up in a closet where I hung sound blankets about an inch and a half from the wall using grommets and hooks from the ceiling. And I actually got so many compliments from that studio from clients that I was working with. You are gonna need a good microphone. You're gonna need a way to connect to some great software. You're gonna need to be reliable for your clients. And something I highly recommend right now is Source Connect. Check it out. Um, it's the way I connect to almost all of my clients. Also Skype. Um, I'm directed over Skype at least three days a week. Next up in quarantine land, let's talk about marketing. Uh, this is that thing that we all hate so much, right? Like we want to do the job. We just don't want to have to like go get the job. Um, marketing. Kind of a touchy thing right now. Um, it's kind of hard to market to clients when their doors are closed. It's also not terribly appropriate to do so in this moment. Marketing to agents, I wouldn't recommend it. Everybody's stressed out, nobody has the amount of work that we're used to having, and they're just trying to keep their current roster going. So they're probably, not probably, definitely not gonna be taking on new talent at this time. So what is a good thing to do? Work on your skills. Uh, there's amazing instructors out there. My longtime mentors, Maurice Tobias and Nancy Wolfson, I recommend looking both of them up. Uh, you can take singing classes. You could probably take an acting class online. Learn another language. There's so many things that you can be doing right now that is gonna help you so much in the future. And I totally need to be saying that to myself right now too. Now, the number one thing that I recommend you spend some time doing if you are brand new to the world of home studios is learning about business. In the land of home studios, we do our own everything. We do our own branding, we do our own marketing, we do our own engineering, we do our own um, c c cleaning, mostly. Um, we do pretty much everything by ourselves. So learning about business is going to be hugely advantageous. Like how do I send an invoice? You would be amazed how many voice actors right now are sitting at home going, 
I've never had to send an invoice. My agent has always done that for me. Not the case anymore. Uh, I use a system called FreshBooks that I love and I've used it for years and years. There's a lot of things out there, QuickBooks, um, Excel. I mean, there's so many ways that you can send a great invoice that's gonna make it easy on your clients to know uh, who you are, where you are, how to pay you and what they owe you. Boom. Invoice, simple. Some other things that are gonna be advantageous is learning about organizing your business. I use Excel, essentially. Um, I have multiple columns on a sheet where I can put, here's who my client is, here's what the job was, here's how much they owe me, um, have they paid me yet, has it been invoiced? And I can check those boxes off as needed. Another thing to remember now that you are working from home, this was mentioned on Twitter by my friend Gabe Kunda, do not post about the work that you are doing until the work is on the air. What does that mean? If you're doing an audition, don't talk about doing the audition. If you have a session or you have completed a session for a client, even if it's the biggest name client, you can't wait to share it with everybody. Uh, don't mention it on social media. Kind of imagine if you had this amazing idea that you'd been working on for like months and months and months and you hired the people that were gonna help you bring this idea to fruition and one of those people went out there and told everybody about the idea and someone stole your idea. That's what it feels like to ad agencies when you go out and you tell people about what you're doing behind the scenes. Now, once something makes it to air, it's on the Cartoon Network, it's nationally airing on television, the web video is posted on YouTube. Share away, promote yourself, absolutely. Okay, so I don't want this video to go on and on and on. Um, I'm gonna stop it here. There's like a million more things that I wanna share with you guys and I'll continue to do so if you find this helpful and beneficial. Um, another thing I was considering at some point is giving you guys a tour of my studio. It just means I have to clean it first and not just this side. <laughs> That's what you can see. It's the only part that's clean. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email, kara at karaedwards.com. I'm working from home full time and I'm also now homeschooling a four and a half year old preschooler. So if it takes me a minute to get to you, yeah, that's why. Uh, anyways, I hope you are safe. I hope you are well. I hope you continue to be both of those. And oh my goodness, I cannot wait to hug you guys. All right, be well.